where exactly do you see the need for reforms? Because I think I read that in Mongolia you have to be 25 years old to run for to be elected for office. Mm -hmm. That's quite. I would say the youth is a key, uh, plays a key role in its mm -hmm. modernization. So why is there such a high um, um, age to be elected into office? So you think it should be younger than yes, of course, twenty five. Yeah, um, I think. In Germany, for example, you can be elected into office with 18 years old. Mm -hmm. So you have a lot of um, your ideas can be mm -hmm. heard. Mm -hmm. And I see there is a lack of those mm -hmm. young people in office with new ideas in Mongolia. Is that is that the case? Mm. Okay. Well, um, I would put it this way: that um, so what the the meaning of democracy is to govern by the majority, right? Many people they discuss they. Uh, they, 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 they are engaged. They're involved. Um, that's that's the true meaning of democracy. But what we have in Mongolia, the, what we have in Mongolia, irrelevant of the age of the people who can be elected or who can be an, uh, a candidate, is that um, these decisions do not involve the public. Okay. Um, maybe, whereas majority of the public um, are used to it, the youth, young people are not used to it. Their voices, their concerns, their issues should be heard at the decision-making level and should be considered. So um, that's why there has been so many um, conflicts, demonstrations, I can add that um, political participation is not just about having the right to be elected. Yeah. And I think 25 is actually not considered, you know, old for especially mm -hmm. national positions, mm -hmm. maybe for local uh, politicians, maybe it may be a bit. But, but it's. I think, we're sorry to interrupt mm -hmm. you, but in Germany, for example, we have a lot of mm -hmm. young people in our new German Bundestag that are elected into office, and we mm -hmm. see that is um, something the public identifies with mm -hmm. young people with new ideas and that is something I see in Mongolia that is some kind of missing I guess. There's also a trend to lower the voting age actually yeah. in some countries to 16 yes it's true mm -hmm. but uh, in a country that doesn't have genuine public consultation in the mm -hmm. um, in the political process it, it has more meaning yeah. even so I think they need to work on this genuine public consultation they might not have this same disillusionment that's that's happening. Um, yes, I think that that. that and that is there something uh, specific that has to change in its electoral law? I think the consultation process. I mean, sometimes those are built into, um, let's say, the internal uh, regulations of a parliament. But uh, there just has to be a political will to mm -hmm. consult with the public. And is there a political will amongst the political elite to change that? Mm -hmm. Well, um, by law and on paper, there is political will. But um, uh, to, to be honest, our constitution, our legal framework is, uh, compared to many countries, quite developed and quite, um, um, it, it guarantees human rights, um, fundamental rights. But when it comes to, um, to, to reality, when it comes to... Um, it being implemented, uh, we have problems there, and we can see see an example in in political party procedures actually in political party activities, where the where, where it's a top down approach where only the leaders or the top ranking um, officials of the political party make the decisions and do not consult or engage um, have the normal members be engaged uh, in decision making. I read that uh, Mongolia is quite liberal in the fields of uh, LGBTQIA plus rights. Is that something that's also only on the paper or is that something that is truly lived in the society? We did have uh, conditions where they had to fight for. Uh, they, they have a protest or a march every year. Um, it's supported, but the the government officials, police, they don't quite understand. They give them some hard time, but it's but that's not saying that they're not accepted in the public. But um, and and by saying that, um, 
it's not it doesn't also mean that they had the the privilege of this acceptance from the beginning they had to fight for it so so it's you know okay um, half half yeah yeah um another topic we talked about trust in this democ democracy and the political system i would like to talk to you about the so-called social media um what role do social media does social media play in the politically daily life or in election campaigns is there a key role for social media we see uh, in europe for example a lot of pro or in the united states a lot of problems with fake news <coughs> mm -hmm. is that something that is also in mongolia yes yeah, so um social media so facebook is uh, mongolia is actually the i think the number one country in asia that uses facebook okay. so basically everyone um has facebook uh and and some even multiple facebook accounts um and uh, we're a country where social media on, and facebook especially is being used as the number one source of information news advertisements for even looking for jobs even looking or trying to sell something online you know so facebook is used is being used for everything so um of course it is wise for political parties or even gov government institutions to um promote their agendas or programs or anything on facebook and so it's widely used and is it used as an instrument to press the position to um talk about other politicians in a bad way or is it just used as something informative to share interests about well, politics. Where there's something good, there's always something bad. So, <laughs> um, so no, because it's widely used, there are fake news, there are um, trolls, trolls, right? Yes. Um, um, there are these teams of people who are hired just to, just to comment badly or comment good on people's posts so that the um, they can shift or they can influence the public opinion uh, those tactics are being used quite a lot and um, there aren't any organizations that fact check uh, posts or information except for one but that only works during elections okay <laughs> <laughs> you talked about the uh, top bottom approach in parties Is there enough participation um, from the public in political systems or is that something that is um, two different spaces? Like um, the public it goes into um, protesting and the political parties are something else and there is only the elite who is um, trying to um, bring their ideas to the table and the public is something else and um, not uh, heard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, this top-down approach, it existed for a long time. Um, maybe it, it even go ba goes back to the socialist period where everything was a top-down approach, where there was one party, where all of the decisions were made at the top leadership level. Um, and when, when we, as a country, transitioned to democracy, we didn't... Uh, we only focused on overthrowing the old regime, but not um, not on how to run the country in the future. So that uh, top-down approach has been uh, maintained. It, it was we still have the, a strong we still have a strong top-down approach. And do you think that will change in the next decade? What has to be implemented for right. for the change? Right, and so unless uh, political engagement, uh, civil engagement um, in um, patient of normal members of political parties are encouraged or are strengthened, um, it's still going to be a top-down approach. Nobody asks for how and when a decision was made at the political party or at the government. For example, if it was a political party, then nobody asks uh, how it was made. Nobody asks for uh, accountability. Um, they just let it go, let it slide, because they didn't even know, and they weren't even involved. Um, this, is, yeah. this is one of the... Um, aims of the study actually is to try to address uh, some of these shortcomings in the political system 
one of the outcomes and in our discussions today was to try and identify some of the areas where um, development projects could actually uh, help with enhancing the political systems um, and the including the internal party uh, rules um, you know within the parties not just uh, between parties or in parliament but also within the parties um, basically developing um, not just legal frameworks but political maturity capacity mm -hmm. building and such 